All right, so number five is a 45, 45. So I know right away, if this is 45 and this is 90, then I know this is a 45, 45, okay? I should know that by this point in the game. You don't have to say 90 plus 45 plus B equals 180, right? And then figure it out. We, we should know that by now. Does that make sense? Is the side thing SP triangle? Oh, because it's a 90 degree angle? Yes. Because this is a 90, I know these two have to be 90. So if it's 30, then it's 60. If it's 45, then it's 45. Now, if it's anything other than 30, 60, 45, we're not going to be dealing with that yet. After spring break, yes. Okay? Now, in your notes, you should have 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45. Now, I made 45, 45 with beta versus alpha with 30, 60, 90. Okay? That's it. That's the only difference. Is this alpha and beta versus x and y? Because a lot of times they give you x and y. And I didn't want it to be confusing. Okay? All right. So... The way I deal with this is I draw the same thing. Now, I can go underneath it or I can go next to it. Which, which one do you guys like the most? You next. Like next to it or underneath? Next. Next? Okay. Let's do that one. It seems pretty much across the board. All right. So, it's going to have a 90 degree. Now, what's across from the 90? Uh, B. B. Two. Yeah, B square root 2. So it's going to be beta square root 2. Okay? Now these two halves are just beta and beta. So if you realize something about this, it's what? It's half of a square, right? A full square would be beta, 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 all 90 degrees, right? So this is just half of a square. That's it. Okay? And so that's the cool part. So right now, I know something really, really, really easy. I know that this is the same as this. Okay? The number on this side is the same as this. Right? That's why we do this. We set it up so that we know that this is the same as this. Does that make sense? Uh, I'm guessing n is the same as b. And then m n. is also, n is also the same as b, right? And that's why doing colors is really important here. Do you okay? have to do colors? Do you have to? No. Does it, does it work better? I think so. Is it, is it absolutely, positively, 100% necessary? No. No. I mean, when I was your age, I didn't learn with colors, <laughs> right? But I know it helps me teach better, and I know it helps a lot of students learn better. Okay? All right, so I'm going to start with the number. You always start with the number. This is the only number over here, right? There's n, there's m, and there's 4 square root 2. So I'm going to start with that, and I know that this is equal to b, the beta, right? So 4 square root 2 equals beta. Why? Is it given? Not given. Is it substitute? Not substitute. What kind of triangle is this? Beta. Special, right? These are special triangles. SP triangles. So SP triangles, good. SP triangles, right? Special, but what kind? 45. 45 there you go. This is a, like one of the, the second or third time we use this. This one's a 45 45. We usually use the 30 60 90, right? Okay. But this is a 45 45. Okay. Now, once I do that, then I can choose N or M. It's up to you guys. Which one you want? Mm -hmm. N? Okay. So, the cool thing about N is that N is equal to what? Beta. Beta. Good. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I may have wanted to write that the other way. Now, why would I want to write that as beta equals N instead of N equals beta? 
Yeah, I'm solving for n. Does anyone have a reason that I would want to do this? This is the transitive property. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C, right? Transitive, okay? At the very beginning of the year, I guarantee that will be on the state test. Transitive, Transitive property is always on the state test, okay? All right, so, so it's kind of nice to know how to set it up that way. Now, I, I can just write it that way. I didn't have to use my symmetric property to twist it. You could have wrote n equals b and then, or beta, and then beta equals n symmetric property, right? So but in essence, we know that this is true. Why do we know that this is true? This is a, the symmetric property. This is another beta. special Triangle. triangles. Yeah, when we're saying this side is equal to this side because it's a special triangle, then we're saying definition of special triangles, right? Because, right? So, because or definition of special triangles. Which ones? Well, in this case, 45, 45. And you're going to do this how many times will you have special triangles on there? How many sides to a triangle? Three. How many times are you going to see it? Three. Right? Because you're going to, if you find out three sides, you're going to use it three times. Does that make sense? Okay? So you're going to use special triangles three times. One for every side. Okay? Alright, so now I can figure out what n is by using my transitive property. Transitive property tells me that if a equals b and b equals c, then a equals c. That's the transitive property, right? And that's done. I know what n is. Okay, I got one answer. Now I gotta find m. Right? Now how do I find m? What is m equal? m equals the square root 2. That's right. m equals beta square root 2. Definition special triangles 45. 45, 90. Would I, would I want to um, change the color of um, that? Yeah, I would. The only reason I kept it blue is because this was blue. I was about to change the color, but because that was blue, I, so I, yeah, I would change the color if I was there. And then, I'm going to go with what? What's beta? Uh, the beta is yeah, beta right here is what? 4 square root 2, right? Times the square root of 2. Times this square root of 2. See the see the two different square roots of 2? Wait, you could kind of, oh, uh, one has like a U turn and the other one has like a uh, sharp pointing. Well, they're just, they're, they're the same, it's just one's here and one's from here. Right? Two different They're just for, yeah, we, we plug this in and now we have two of them. And if we do that, what is two times two? Four. Four, four right? Four, so four, that's really four. four square root four. What is the square root of four? One. No. Four. What times itself is four? four. One. Sixteen. Two. Two. <laughs> nice. So basically, oh, wait. you're going to trade four. out a two for one outside the box. That's all. So you get m is equal to 4 times 2. Right? So this first one was substitution. Right? And then this is all simplified. Simplified. Right? And what do you end up with? Eight. m equals 8. There it is. Oh, Okay? Questions? Is that a little better? Kind of, yeah. Kind of?